What's good? It's your boy Mac back with another video. Today, I'm gonna be reacting to the biggest problem in hip hop right now. This video is by Fantastic Hip Hop. What do I think is the biggest problem in hip hop? I don't know. I feel like these niggas just lame as hell, bro. Like, niggas is not creative. Niggas is doing the same shit. A lot of our favorite rappers are getting bagged or dying. The streets are way too involved in hip hop. I think, yeah, I think that's the main thing. The streets are way too involved in hip hop when it comes to males. And when it comes to females, man, it's wishy-washy. There's not a, the, the skill level for females is, is at the fucking floor. There's not a, a skill level. You know what I'm saying? IG thoughts are turning into some goddamn rappers. There's no skill level. As long as you look bad, you can be a rapper for a female. And that, I feel like that's a problem. As long as you look bad, you can you can be successful. That, that, unfortunately, I feel like there's a problem with the female raps. And y'all gonna be mad at me, but shoot, I said, I said what I said shoot but before i get into the video make sure you guys like and subscribe let me know what you want me to react to next in the comments down below without further ado let's get into the video according to this video there has only been one top damn gonna look mad different it's crazy album in the year nigga lost weight to put this into perspective this type of drought hasn't happened since 1993 so we gotta ask ourselves what is going on these niggas be lame as fuck has the music <laughs> just been bad are there no superstars releasing music what is going on when it comes to the answer to this question, the reason why there has been a drought within the hip hop world, the answer is much more complicated than any of them. To start understanding why hip hop is in the position it's in right now, we need to go back in time. Since the birth of rap music, there has been one thing consistent about the art form, and that is its constant evolution. This evolution has spawned an array of different movements and subgenres over the years. From G Funk on the West Coast to Boom Bap on the East Coast to the Chrome and Bling eras in the 2000s, the tides of hip hop have evolved alongside the popular sounds of each era. Looking at the sonic movements in the modern landscape of hip hop, since the mid 2010s, there has been one sound only dominating everything, trap. and that is trap music. With artists like Future, Young Thug, and Lil Uzi Vert at the forefront of modern trap, this was the sound that made hip hop the commercial juggernaut that it became in the 2010s. That's facts. From the infectious melodies to the memorizing beats, this is the sound that revolutionized hip hop into the commercial juggernaut. I don't know, but I feel like you got other genres and shit. Like you got drill. Shoot, I'm trying to think of something else. Um, Jersey shit, like that shit's on the come up. Came in the 2010s, and it's the sound that the biggest artists in the rap game still use today. What's alarming about the fact that trap is still the leading sound in hip hop today? It's that in hip hop history, there has never been a single sound that has stayed around at the forefront as long as trap music. Historically, one style has been at the forefront for a few years. Maybe I see what he's getting, decade, you know, his point. His, his point. I see what he's coming from. This is not the case right now. Hip hop is still fixated on this sound well after a decade of its prominence and with the best days of trap being way behind us. The genre is facing an innovation problem, but it goes even deeper than this. Just as the sounds from era to era change, so do the faces of hip hop. From Biggie and Tupac to Jay-Z and Nas, the faces of the rap game were always changing within the eyes of the people and this is what kept the genre so unpredictable and exciting in the 90s and the 2000s. In the early 2010s, oh God, you had a new nigga coming up. West, Eminem and Lil Wayne were replaced by Kendrick Lamar, Drake, and J. Cole. This is facts. Just like trap music, over a decade later, and Kendrick, Cole, and Drake are still the top rappers. Rap's big three. In a world where Drake and J. Cole have alluded to retirement, and Kendrick Lamar has only released a single album in the last five years, how come hip hop is fixated on rappers whose time in the limelight is very limited instead of looking at what a future big three could hold? When you look at everything within this lens, Baby Keem and his ghostwriters, the answer becomes more and more apparent. From the trap sound to Kendrick, Cole, and Drake being the longest instated big three in the eyes of the culture, we can see that hip hop is frozen, and this is because we are trapped within an artistic algorithm. In today's <laughs> Man, but out the word artistic algorithm. So fast that it actually hasn't moved at all. From the streaming exploits to the TikTok trends, labels have put more pressure on artists than ever to find success immediately, and it has caused the creative parameters that have been used in the past to fold in on themselves. This is why most big rappers or artists with record deals focus on getting those golden seven seconds or nostalgia baiting fans by using a sample of an already beloved song. 
The main thing being preached in the industry is to blow up instantly and make buzz, and this is killing the natural flow of creativity. Mm. Look at an artist but I don't think that's even a really a rap thing. That's just a general music problem. Because it's not just rappers that's doing that. It's, you know, you got your singers doing that shit too. She had two viral TikTok hits. Corla Ray is just ass. She's, she's just been ass, respectfully. No disrespect to the girl, but she's just been ass. So I don't know. You really can't bring her up in this in shit. Recent memory alone. Would you be surprised? But she is an example of how this shit is just not working. So I, you know, never mind. I, you know, I, I'm gonna let you cook. I told you that she just dropped her sophomore album, and despite her high monthly listeners, despite how many people know her TikTok songs and how many people share them, her album only sold 10,000 copies and charted this low on week one. Coyle Ray's failure reveals a further point about the decline in interest in hip hop at the moment. Just I, like I said, she's just ass. Respectfully, she's just not good. Like, <laughs> respectfully, of course. Like some artists making massive hits that people dance to and share with their friends. These are not converting people into actual fans of the entirety of the art being presented in front of them and with most of the industry using this as their main strategy towards success. It's no wonder why no new artist is captivating audiences the same way that Kendrick, Drake, Cole, or any of the stars from the past decade could. So when we look at hip hop's decline commercially, we see the biggest problem facing the genre right now. Rap has a creativity and innovation problem, and as long as labels prioritize virality over creativity, we are going to stay frozen in this state of limbo. With that said, as the genre continues to bring in diminishing returns, changes will inevitably be made, so the question we have to ask ourselves is, when will the next era of rap music truly commence? While we can't fully guarantee that this is the dawn of a new sound and even that a new big three is upon us, what we do know is that even in the mainstream there has been a wave of creative titans opening up borders with new sounds and ideas and as these artists continue to gain support and grow some of the largest fan bases in the game, it's only a matter of time until something major happens. So to answer the big question that many have been asking, is hip hop dead? Well, the answer is clearly no. Even despite the genre commercially doing not as well as it has in years past, there has never been such a wide range of artists from the top to the underground doing amazing things and creating such a wide range of amazing experiences. If you think hip hop is dying, you should subscribe to my channel ASAP so you can hear about the artists who are dropping beautiful records right now. With that all out of the way, oh God, that's I want nice. to ask you, what are your thoughts on the current state of hip hop right now? Do you agree that these are the biggest problems the rap game's facing? And where does the future of hip hop lie? Let me know in the comments below and thank you for watching. Your support means everything. Mr. F, fantastic hip hop. Signing out. Have a great day. Um, this was a very well put together video. In terms of my opinions on the matter, I mean, you know, like I said earlier, I feel like when when it comes to male rappers, there is a lot of rappers that have come out and they really, you know, have that potential to really do something big but there's so much the streets are way too involved in rap so they get bagged you know we see how many rappers are in jail right now or how many rappers that have died and these are rappers that really had a buzz and could, could have really replaced the big three if you get what if you get what i'm saying i or at least in my opinion i feel like they could have really replaced the big three but the streets are way too involved in rap way too involved in rap and i guess maybe the sound but i do feel like the, sh the sound is shifting a little bit you do have um the jersey uh style beats and a uh, drill making a, a prominent uprise in uh, in rap so the, the sound is kind of changing a little bit the trap sound it is a little dead but it ain't that it ain't completely dead it does need an in innovation in terms of the female side i feel like with females it's just there's not enough talent these women aren't talented with all due respect the talent level isn't there they just look good that's the reason why coyla ray flopped she just looks good respectfully she looks good she's popular she she's known for looking good we know her for her looks we don't know her for her music so when she's dropping music don't nobody want to listen to it because no one cares no one cares she can have how many followers on her instagram she can have how many followers on her tiktoks her tiktoks can blow up whatever the fuck but it doesn't matter because at the end of the day her music just isn't good she just looks good
that's just that's the problem with a lot of female rappers is that the talent isn't there they just look good i mean and i hate to shade ice spice but she's kind of a good example of this in which you just have to look good she looks good i go her music ain't even bad but you would think if you heard her music that she really giving you really like this is oh her talent level is up there it's not she look good she was a meme at first and then um you know shout out to her team you know getting just doing the right move after right move her not being problematic and being very chill she really has become the princess of rap but not off her talent unfortunately and that's just how it is and you know i blame cardi b for that because Nicki minaj she was bad but very talented cardi b came into the scene and she lowered she lowered the standard of what it what it would be to be a, a female rapper she lowered the stand standard you know she came out she said she got ghostwriters so now these females they get ghostwriters none of these females not not none of them most of these females out here top rappers are top rappers female rappers they are not even writing their bars so i think that's a big problem in the um in this shit um with male rappers this shit is kind of played out and when you're talking about genre and the um the content and the music i feel like niggas is just tired of hearing the same shit when niggas is the same shit in terms of the, of the trap set that's why you have a drake a kendrick um a j cole still the top three because niggas that that whole that whole talking about guns money drugs and bitches is is played out it's played out you know what i'm saying at least if you're gonna do it, at least make it sound creative but y'all niggas saying the same shit for real with females talking about your pussy talking about taking niggas mans to, uh talking about fucking uh you betting these bitches it, it, it's played out in in my opinion both sides respectfully yeah you know what's good for the goose is good for the gander that's just my scene but that's gonna do it for me this is an interesting video let me know what you guys thought about in the comments down below don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see y'all the next one i peace